everybody welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be about jackie aina's new fragrance line yes guys as soon as i heard it just like you i was like you know what i gotta try them i gotta know what's the tea and i picked up three i did not have a chance to try the fourth one so i picked up three and i'm going to share my thoughts so if this is a topic that interests you please stick around Right, so unless you've been on the rock you know by now that Jackie Aina brought out a fragrance line on her forever mood uh, under the forever mood candle business that she has and as soon as I saw it I was like I knew I had to try them I knew I had to pick them up because if there is one person that really understands fragrances you know as much as she understands makeup is definitely jackie aina and i trust her recommendations on fragrances there are a few fragrances that i purchased because of her recommendations and have you guys seen that collection of hers because that collection is absolutely breathtaking it's curated you can tell that she has expensive taste she has great great taste and she always smells good apparently from what people have told me so i was interested in this particular fragrance line because you know that's what i do i like fragrances i like to smell good if i'm going to be smelling like jackie then why not okay so let's talk about these fragrances so i have my sephora bag here and i picked up i am her which is definitely the most popular out of you know like the four of the fragrances and that's because i think this was the first teaser that she had and she just looked absolutely gorgeous in that beautiful sequin dress i just i just love you know like the way she described it and the the little teaser for this particular fragrance was just everything and i like pink so here's i am her the next one that i picked up is you remind me this one is the one in the white packaging and i just picked up this one because it was interesting to me the combination of notes i think she had some apricots she has some sensual musk i love scents that are kind of ethereal and soft so i picked up that one and i picked up nda now whenever i saw all of them i knew for a fact that if i had to just pick one it was going to be nda and that's because of the notes now this one is the one in the purple packaging so let me tell you what i think about each one individually purchase these fragrances they come like this they don't have a cellophane um wrapping around them and i made sure to ask if i did not you know pick up a you know testers or anything they told me that no that's how they came out so if you receive yours like that and you order it online and you receive it without any cellophane just don't be scared that's how uh, her fragrances come so let me show you the packaging so the packaging is kind of like in this diamond shape beautiful glass bottle the packaging is quite simple i think it's almost too simple for my taste but i like simple packaging too because then you get straight to the point i'd rather if packaging be simple than do too much and you know like i just prefer i think it's it's kind of cute so this one is the one in the pink and then let me show you the other ones as well so here are all three fragrances, you know, in their colors. So you have the purple one, the pink one, the white one. The one that I did not get a chance to smell or pick up was the yellow one. And I didn't pick up the yellow one because I didn't purchase online, pick up in store. I did not purchase that one because I don't particularly care for fragrances that have lemon in them, you know. But a lot of people are saying that it smells like lemon cupcake. Now I'm kind of like intrigued that I might like that one too. So, but anyways, this is the packaging for all of them. And then I'm just going to use one and show you the difference is that this is glass. This part of the, of the packaging is glass, but this is plastic. And that's one thing that I don't particularly like. I wish that all of this was glass. I think that it was, it was going to make this experience even more luxurious, but I don't mind it. It's just kind of like a minor thing. So yeah, so that's, uh, you remind me again, NDA and I am her let's talk about i am her i am her is the one that i saw first when jackie aina you know did her teasers i don't know if she released something else prior to her but whenever i got on her page or at least my uh, uh profile page i just saw this one first and the teaser was the one that got me hooked all the way like that beautiful pink dress you know sparkly sequins i don't know if it was sequins or pearls but it's just so beautiful like i just liked it right away and then it's color pink so this one has notes of red velvet raspberry pear and oud 
when I smelled this, I was like, it opened very sweet, very fruity, and then it settled very floral. Now, I'm not sure what the floral notes are because I only I'm going by her um by her uh, her Instagram page and I'm just looking at these notes. I don't think that she listed any type of florals, but I get floral touches with this fragrance in the mid and then in the end you get the oud i have it on my on my hand my hand right now and i'm smelling it and i'm getting the oud at the end i'm losing the sweetness i'm losing the fruitiness and i'm losing even the florals i think that i'm left with just kind of like oud at the very end so this fragrance opens sweet floral and then oudy by the end a little bit earthy at least on my skin but that is i am her Let's talk about NDA, which was the one that I was absolutely dying. Like, it was like, if I had to just pick one, it was going to be NDA. And this one has notes of tobacco flower, spice rum, and vanilla bean. Now, this fragrance was quite interesting to me because when I like read those notes, first of all, I was expecting, at least from the teaser as well too, I was really expecting bold and talk and kind of like boozy and sexy and enticing and it's not to say that this fragrance doesn't fully have that but it doesn't really have that either so just just bear with me like spice round tobacco flower vanilla bean you're really expecting something that could be quite gourmand and boozy but i don't get that with this one i only get florals i get florals i get um the tobacco flower as opposed to like tobacco itself like i think i was expecting really the tobacco think about tobacco that is in um uh silky woods for example by goldfish and banks you know like that's one tobacco that i really really like so i'm not getting that kind of tobacco um i'm getting just more flowery more uh girly more spring like so this is not your this is not a boozy fragrance this is not a gourmand fragrance although it has vanilla bean this is floral true and true and i was quite surprised i was quite surprised and it took me for like a love i was like wait a minute i don't i don't know i had to do a double take and be wait is this nda so um i'm a bit disappointed i'm not gonna lie i'm a bit disappointed simply because i love fragrances with those notes i love spice rum i love tobacco i love you know vanilla and i just want you to give me all the sexiness the darkness the mysteriousness like all of it but i don't really get it with this particular fragrance and yeah so it opened very like soft and inviting i think the, the tobacco flower was kind of like at the top i didn't get spice rum at no point i actually got more at the, the fragrance dry down i got more coconut tiare type of flower i got very tropical it is getting more tropical as it's setting and it's it's, it's very pretty it, it really is it's just not what i was expecting i guess that's where my disappointment comes in so this one is nda Let's talk about the last one that I picked up, which is You Remind Me. You Remind Me has notes of apricot skin, orange flower, and sensual musk. Out of the three, that's the one that I, I picked up last because I was like, I don't know. But I saw white and I was like, you know what? Why not? Give it a try. The lemon one, I was like, yeah, no, I'm not trying for sure. But the, this one kind of appealed me in the la at the last minute. And guys, this one is the one that I absolutely love. I love this. I love this so much. It's like a moment, a feeling, a, a sensation, a place in time. It's a memory. It's creamy. It's sensual. It's enticing. It's you when you're going to bed. It's you when you're waking up. It's you, you know, at a particular time and in, in, in a place. It's just gorgeous. It's ethereal. It's beautiful. It's airy. It's oh guys <laughs> this is so funny because that's the one that i picked up last and it ended up being my absolute favorite this one is beautiful if you love like sweet like like slightly sweet because it's not very sweet slightly sweet musky you know ethereal type of scent that are just kind of whimsical in a way you remind me is is the one like from the moment that i smelled it 
it started with the apricot skin went to those soft flowers you know with the um the orange flower and then the musk at the base this fragrance was absolutely gorgeous from top all the way to bottom so yeah this is you remind me what are my final thoughts on these fragrances and i'm gonna tell you i mean i already kind of like spoiled it my most favorite is definitely you remind me you remind me is my favorite followed by nda although i don't have that boozy dark you know mysterious super bold fragrance that like at least scent that i was really expecting the way it's settling is beautiful it's still beautiful on the skin it has that nice sweetness that i enjoy i think that with time this is going to become really really beautiful and my least favorite is i am her which i'm really sad about and that's because the type of oud that this has at the base is the type of oud that i do not like and that's just a personal preference but i love um the opening of it i love the sweetness the fruitiness it's just really pretty now i think that after you know why i finally understood why this packaging was just so um pastel like because when i saw them i was like why are they so pastel and i think i understand why this particular line that she just came out with is the way it is it's for spring it's for summer she's not really expecting you to be wearing them all year round although you can i think that she's catering to the season that we are in right now you know it's gonna be hot and we have like at least a good six months of like just heat and she wants you to wear these fragrances now why like who are these fragrances for i think these fragrances are very entry level beginner friendly they are approachable they are easy reach there's nothing out of these ones that is controversial that is going to be difficult to pull that is going to be difficult to handle they are quite soft you know by soft i don't mean that they are not long lasting because they're they are, they are hanging on to me they really are but they are approachable they are easy reach they are easy wear they you know i'm sorry i'm repeating myself but that's really what i'm i'm thinking i'm not thinking super high level niche like you know complex and the funny thing is that i think that jackie is going to come out with those complex scents because if you look at her collection at least the the videos that she shared on her social media they are created to some bold fragrances. She has some bold fragrances. She has knowledge of bold fragrances. And I think that I'm very excited to see what she's going to come up with with like come fall and winter. I'm really hoping that she comes up with like a packaging that is like, you know, like maybe a dark brown, maybe like a dark, like a black one, maybe like black and gold, like just colors like that. I think it's going to be very pretty. Having this packaging in a beautiful dark brown, like I'm talking about deep dark brown color with some gold lettering, I think it's going to be gorgeous. I really just think so. So yeah, so those are my thoughts on the um, Forever Mood line by Jackie Aina. I wanted to support her launch, you know, uh, she's a fellow YouTuber, she's a fellow Instagram fragrance uh, content, I mean lifestyle content creator. So yeah, anything to support her. Now, um, I, I, I still prefer for you guys to go and smell them. You might probably not get all of them like you probably thought. So simply because they are very floral, they are, uh, I just want you to experience it yourself. They are going to be in stores. They are actually in stores today, but Sephora Savings is starting uh, tomorrow. So take advantage, grab whichever one you like, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.